A lot of people ask me how I record PC gameplay. Today I'm just going to briefly discuss what program I use and the settings. The program is DX Story, which can be found at dxstory.com. Here's just a brief description of the program. It records everything on separate channels, so if your game, the music in your game is too loud, you can uh, turn that down in the editing software, or your audio is too loud or too low, you can edit that. This just means you probably should have at least two hard drives, one where the game is playing, a second one where you will actually record the gameplay to. And it is a, it's not freeware, you need to purchase it, but you can download a trial. It'll let you record a limited amount of footage, I think, but it puts a humongous DX Story watermark on it. But if you want to get rid of that, you can buy it. It's 3,600 yen. And since the conversion rate jumps around a little bit, it's roughly like $40 to $42 in that range. And you can buy it through the website, buy it through PayPal, and uh, he sends you a license pretty quick. It's all automated. So to pull up the program, I already have it open. I'll just briefly go over the settings I'm using. Also, I want to mention that when anytime you're going to run recording software and you have any type of monitoring, mo monitoring software like MSI Afterburner or the NVIDIA one, forget what it's called, you need to turn that off because this won't work. You only can have one uh, type of software like that open. As you can see, you can change where the FPS counter is. This just shows you where you want the gameplay to be saved. Uh, right now, I have, I use the minus uh, key on my keyboard because in most games it doesn't really have a function it's pretty easy to hit on your keyboard here's all the settings I have you have various different codecs I'm using DX Tori video codec along with the high quality setting at a, a roughly 30 frames a second and this is also important I play at 1080p but I will only record at 720 um, because it helps with performance issues and when you're uploading to YouTube it's not a really big difference also makes the file size a lot smaller so I recommend you change that here when you want to add a microphone you uh, click the plus button and you choose what microphone you want to add and here are all the settings ton of settings I use the PCM audio codec so it records uh, computer noise and speaker noise into two different channels which is extremely handy um, this is just screenshot settings you can take screenshots um, here's other settings I want to really mess with that and just license information because I have the full version Alright, I'll probably now switch to my cell phone camera and just show you recording and what it looks like and what you should expect. Alright, so as you can see right now we're in Just Cause 2. That is my current frame rate. It's green uh, when it's not recording but it'll go orange when I press record. So it'll pop up like that. Like the programs like Fraps and other recording software, it does the same exact thing. So, just get on my keyboard, and it might be kind of hard to see. There's a minus button, hit it. As you can see, it goes orange, and on the left is the frame rate I'm playing at. The right is what it's recording. So, as you can see, I don't really take a hit in performance but I'm still recording and that's really where DX Tori shines.